Hi everyone, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. Today we are going to see another analysis of cantilever beam with clockwise moment at point D and anti-clockwise moment at point C. So an A point is fixed. So we have to find the stress and deflection and also draw the SFT and BMD diagram for this analysis and the given cross section of beam is breadth into height as 200 mm by 400 mm and Young's modulus as 2 into 10 is to 5 Newton per mm square and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.27. Before starting this tutorial, I want to say that if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get all the updates from my channel. And if you have any query, doubt, any suggestions or any comment, please mention it in your comment section. I will reply the query as much as quickly as possible. So let's start our tutorial. First of all, open ANSYS Mechanical APDL. Click on Preferences. Click on Structural. Click OK. Now go to Preprocessor. Click on Element Type. Click on Add, Edit, Delete. Click on Add. Select Beam. Select 2 node 188. SA function. Now click OK. Close this. Minimize Element Type. Go to Material Property. Click on Material Models. Click on structural, click on linear, click on elastic, click on isotropic, and give the value of Young modulus as 2e5 and Poisson's ratio as 0.27. Now click OK and close this window. Now minimize material property. Click on sections, click on beam, click on common section, and go to subtype and select rectangular shape and offset to center y. Now we have to give the value of B as 200 and H as 400. Now click preview to preview the cross section. So this is the cross section of the beam that we are going to analyze. Now click OK and right click the mouse button and then replot it to hide the cross section. Now minimize section, go to modeling, click on create, click on key point and click on inactive CS. Now if you click here, it will create the origin. Now we have to now this is the fixed point with respect to this fixed point we are going to uh, plot c d and b and the distance between these two uh, each point is 2 meter so open ansys mechanical click on ctcs and give here 2000 mm click apply then delete it and give 4000 mm and click apply and then the last is 6000 mm and then click ok Thus, we have created all the required points. Now we have to join all these key points with the help of lines. So minimize key point, click on lines, click on lines, click on a straight line, click here and here, click here and here, click here and here. Thus we have joined all the lines. Now click OK. Now minimize modeling. Go to meshing, click on size control, click on manual size, click on global, click on size. And now we are going to give the number of element divisions between two key points. So I am going to divide it in 20 divisions. Now click OK. Now my size control, go to mesh, select line and then tick box and carefully select all the lines and then click OK. Thus our meshing is done. So minimize meshing. Now go to plot and replot the lines. So you can clearly see that from this point to this point there are 20 divisions and you can clearly see that the first point, second point, third point and fourth point. That's why we replot this. Now we have to apply the force uh, or moment. That is there is a moment at point C and D and A point is fixed. So again go here and now click on loads, click on define load, click on apply, click on structural, click on displacement and then click on key point and select this key point and then click apply. Since this point is fixed, we have to select all degree of freedom. Now click OK. Now we have to apply moment. So minimize displacement, go to force moment. Now select key point and now select this key point and click apply and go here and select MZ. And now give the value of moment that is 8 kN in clockwise. So we have to give here plus 8E6. Now click apply. Now we select this point and again click apply and now again select MZ and give the value here. Since the moment is and clockwise, so we have to give the minus sign and then 10E6 value. Now click OK. 
thus we have applied the moment now minimize this minimize this go to solution click on solve current con current ls now click ok thus our solution is done now close this close this minimize solution go to general post procedure now for getting sfd and bmd we have to create element table so click on element table click on define table click on add go to this column and select last option and type here 3 then click apply again go to this column select last option type here 6 click apply again go to this column select last option type here 16 click apply again go to this column select here and type here 19 and then click ok thus we have selected four levels that is 3 6 16 and 19 and the combination of 3 and 16 will give the bmd diagram and 6 and 19 will, will give the sft diagram now close this minimize this go to plot result click on deform shape and select deform plus and deform now click ok so this is the deformation of cantilever beam under the given moment condition applying on the beam if you want to see the animation of this in isometric view then you will have to go to plot control first of all click on style then click on size and shape and now on it and click ok so this is done to begin 3d view now go to isometric view so this is isometric view now if you want to see the animation of this deformation again go to plot control click on animate click on deform plus and deform slip now click deform plus and deform shape now click ok so you can clearly see that the deformation is going on and this is the animation video of this deformation under the given loading and moment condition now close this go to counter plot click on node solution and click on diop and now click on displacement vector sum now click ok so this is the displacement of the beam under the loading conditions and minimum displacement is at this point and the maximum displacement is at this point and the value is of minimum displacement is 0 and the maximum displacement is 1.33 mm now close this sorry now again click on node solution and now click on a stress to view the stress distribution now select one minus stress now click ok so you can clearly see that the stress variation in this diagram so the maximum value is at this point and the minimum value is at this point and the value of numerical value of minimum is 0 and the maximum is 3.3 .3. now if you want to see the sfd and bmd then you will have to click on line element result and go in first box and select the first option and then in the second box select the third option to get the bmd diagram now click ok and now go here and click on front view so this is the bmd diagram and if you want to see the sfd diagram then you again click on line element result go here and select second option select and go in second box and select last option and now click ok and this is the sfd diagram now if you want to see the exact value of reactions or any other uh, nodal loads or displacement then you will have to go to list result click on reaction solution select all item click ok so this is the node number and corresponding f x f x f y and f z force in x y z direction and the moment in x y z direction are given here now close this if you want to see the nodal load again click on nodal load select all item now click ok so this is the node number and corresponding force in x y z and the moment in x y z are given here for all nodes now click here and close this and if you want to see the displacement then you will have to click on knowledge solution df solution then click on displacement vector sum now click ok so this is the node number and corresponding displacement in x y and z and the maximum displacement value are given here for each and every node now close this similarly you can see the various result of various parameters under the general post procedure so thank you for watching please like and share this video as much as you can and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all the updates my friend my channel thank you bye bye